guys, welcome back to VFit Kids, and today we are doing three basic uh, boxing techniques, and they are going to be body position, punching, and footwork. Okay, for our warm up, we're going to work out for three minutes. The two exercises we're going to do for 30 seconds each are going to be punching, we're just going to punch, 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 30 seconds, and then we go straight into our bounces left to right. Okay, I've got my timer. Rafa, you ready? Mm -hmm. Things to think about when we're punching and we're jabbing and we're punching straight, palms facing downwards. Okay, you got that? Yep. Okay, I've got my timer ready. It's gonna give us three seconds to prepare. Two, one, and we're just punching. Punch, 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 punch. Just keep the punches going. Remember, try and extend those arms if you can, Raf. That's it, good. Keep working hard. How many punches can you get in? We've got 20 seconds. Keep punching, punching, punching. Those palms facing downwards. Really, really good. Keep it punching. Keep it punching. It's hard work. 10 seconds. Keep going. That's awesome, Raf. Keep going. Keep those arms up a little higher if you can. Keep punching. Four, three, two, one. Can we remember next? Bounces left to right. Keep it working. Good, good, good. Nice and easy. Bam, bam. Either side. Either side. After we finish this, our bounces, we're back into that punching. Keep going, Raf. That's good. Coming up to 15 seconds, halfway there. Good effort, Raf. Really good. I hope you're working hard at home. 10 seconds. How are those bounces? Tough. Four, three. We're nearly there. Wait for that bell. Two, one. Straight back into that punching. So remember, Raf, just keep punching. Keep punching. Remember, extending those arms all the way through. Punch it out. Punch, palms facing down to the ground. A slight twist with your arms as you punch forwards. Keep punching, 13 seconds, keep working hard. Keep smiling, good punching. How are those arms feel? They're starting to get a bit tired. Keep it punching, three seconds, two, one. Easy bounces, don't try and go too hard with our bounces. It's quite a tough exercise, nice and easy, light feet. Very good, we've got 20 seconds. It's almost like you've got a skipping rope. Yeah. Little skipping rope. 15 seconds. I hope everyone's working hard at home. This is a little toughie, this one. We're coming up to eight seconds and then we're straight back into those boxing, those punches. Here we go. Two, one, and punch it. And just keep punching with our arms. It's our third set, final set of our warm up. Straight punches, left to right, palms facing down. Don't have to punch too hard, just get the arms moving. Elevate the heart rate, lots of energy. Coming up to 10 seconds, Raph, keep going, dude. Keep punching it, keep punching it. How are those arms, are they feeling heavy? No, you're good. Keep extending the arms. Two, one, last set of our little bounces. Pretend you've got a skipping rope. We're skipping, we're skipping. If you've got nice quick feet, everything's quick. Left to right, how's that rope going? Can you do both? Yes, love that. 13 seconds, keep working hard. 10 seconds, doing really well. Bounces, skipping. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, for the next part of our exercise, we're gonna work on our footwork and we're gonna work on some uppercuts. Now, I'm standing in what they call an orthodox position, meaning, I jab with my left and my big punch is with my right, okay? Now, if I was the opposite way, I'd be known what's called a southpaw, where I would lead with my right and my big punch would be with my left hand. Now, we can normally work that out by thinking, am I more powerful on my right side? Am I more powerful on my left side? Generally speaking, am I left-handed or right-handed, okay? We're both right-handed, therefore we are orthodox. Now we're gonna work on our feet in an orthodox position, okay? Now normally when we walk, if we walk backwards or we walk forwards, we cross our feet, okay? But in boxing, we don't do that. So if I'm in this position here and we go backwards, I lead with my right foot and my left foot follows. Now if I go forwards, my left foot goes forward and my right foot follows, okay? So we're gonna do 30 seconds of footwork work and then we're going to go into our uppercuts now with our uppercuts what we want to make sure we do we've got nice soft knees good balance 
And when we punch up to our uppercuts, our palms are facing towards our face. Okay, now I've got the time to go. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna move straight on to our uppercuts. You ready, Raph? Three, two, one, and it's our footwork. Good, and back, leading with that right all the way back, Raph, and leading with our left foot to go forwards. Just get used to that feeling. It's very different when you've been used to walking and just crossing our feet. All of a sudden now, we're taking a step with our right to go back and taking a step with our left to go forwards. Okay, and if I'm south four, I'm doing the opposite. Left foot to go back, right foot takes us forwards, okay? The more confident you go, maybe go a little bit quicker. Three, two, one. Uppercuts, knees nice and soft. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Keep looking forwards. Keep looking forwards, keep punching it. Palms facing, which way are they facing, Raph? Your Towards face. your face, very good. 14 seconds, keep it working, keep it working. Excellent, keep going, we're nearly there. We've got about five seconds. You can do your hair as you come up with your uppercuts too. Three, two, one. Excellent, so we're now gonna move on to the next set of our footwork drill, and we're gonna get out four cones. If you don't have cones, you can use socks for your markers. Okay, so the next part of the exercise is I've laid out four cones about a foot in between one another. Now what we do with this exercise for 30 seconds, I'm gonna ask Rafi in that orthodox position. He's gonna take two steps forward into the first part of the cones. He's gonna come back and then he's gonna move into the second set of the cones. And he's gonna work his way across until he gets to here. When he gets to here, he's working his way across to the left hand side, okay? He's not gonna be throwing any punches, he's just working on the technique with his feet. After that 30 seconds, he's then gonna do exactly the same, but when he gets to the cones, he's gonna throw a left and throw a right. So it looks something like this. Stepping back, moving into the next set of the cones, punch, punch, stepping back, stepping forwards, punch, punch, okay? Remembering with our punches, when we jab and when we cross, our hands, palms are facing downwards. So I've got my timer ready, Rafi. How are you feeling? You ready for this? Yeah. So remember, no punches for the first 30 seconds, but for the second 30 seconds, you can write the punch. Okay. You got it? And off we go. Just step in and step in back. Moving on to the next set of markers, okay? The more confident you are becoming, maybe a little quicker, okay? The more confident. Try it and keep looking forwards, not to the side, okay? That's good, Raf. Step it in. Stepping back, stepping forwards, don't cross those feet. Back in. Oh yeah. Yeah, into that's all right, that's fine. And back, good, and over to the next set. Good, we've got four seconds, we're getting a little bit quicker, I love it. Two, one, now we're gonna include the punches. Okay, so two punches when you get to the markers. Good, stepping back, move on to the next one. Two punches, stepping back, moving on to the next one. Punches, remember our palms facing down when we punch. Good, stepping backwards, over to the next set. Punch, punch, don't forget to step back. Good, stepping forwards, punch, punch, stepping back. Remember, left foot to go forwards, right foot to come backwards. Left foot forwards, punch, punch. Right foot, that's all right, it's different. One, but, but. Okay, so we're moving on to the next part of the lesson. As you can see, we've made a square, or a little ring if you like, because we're focusing on boxing today. And we have a sock, okay? So I'm gonna ask Rafi to have the sock in his left hand and he would use his hand, left hand, for jabs. Now we're gonna be moving around in our little square, in our little box, in our little ring, but we're using our footwork to move around, okay? We're not allowed to just walk forward and cross our feet. Now when Rafi gets into a good position, he's gonna try with this sock to jab and try and hit my left knee or left thigh, okay? Just gently, he's not gonna try and smack it as hard as he can, he doesn't wanna hurt anybody, he's just gonna try and jab in. Every time he gets contact or a touch, he gets one point, okay? I'm gonna set the timer, we're gonna do this for 30 seconds, and we're gonna see how many points he gets, okay, Raph? There's your sock, let me get my timer and we'll get cracking. Oh, and Raph, remember, he's trying to use that footwork we've been working on, good, that's a point. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're going to do is, 
we're going to use our left hand and we're going to use our right hand. So we're just going to get another pair of socks. So now Rafi's got a grey sock and a red sock. Now he's going to use both hands or both socks to try and either tap my left leg or my right leg. Every time he taps my left, he's going to get how many points? Two. One point on my left. And then if he hits my right, he's going to grab two points. I'm going to set my timer for 30 seconds and we're going to see how many points he got. Once again, using those footwork skills. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> Try and keep that balance, remember? Good, you, know, you can't put any more at a time. Good. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap it around. I'm gonna take the gloves, and Rafi's gonna try and move around. We're gonna see how many points I can get. I've got my timer. I'm gonna start, it gives us that three seconds. My hands are up. Good, keep moving around. In that points did I get? Yeah. I think, I think I got zero. I think Rafi got about eight or ten when he had a go. Anyway, give that uh, game a go. It's a lot of fun. It's going to lift your heart rate up. And, but just think about our footwork that we've been working on and remember just easy light touches. It's a lot of fun. It's a good game. See who's going to score the most points in your house. Okay, well done everybody. I hope you enjoyed those games. What I would suggest you do is obviously not just do one set of each, maybe look to do three or possibly five, taking turns with whoever the person is that you're playing with. I'd also just like to say thank you very much to my cousin Mark, Mark Collins in England, for giving us the ideas and also the techniques. If you want to find out more about boxing, I'm going to leave his bio in the description below. Also, he's an England boxing coach, so he knows his stuff. I suggest you check him out. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next week.